Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevtech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over interview questions that you'll be asked if you go to an actual job interview. Uh, this will be interview questions part 11. I have a lot of different interview questions. So if you guys are, are stuck with interview questions, typically I tell you to go look at my interview playlist. But also typically if someone gets a job in IT, I tell them to give me your interview questions and I try to answer it to the best of my ability. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. I don't gotta say anything, rate, comment, subscribe, and notification bell. That way you know when I go live. So Mohammed, I have it here on the screenshot. Mohammed sent me his questions. He wanted me to make a video on it. He's like, can you please make a video on this? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And I'll make a video and I'll show you how I answer it. So question number one, what brought you into working in the help desk role? I want to work help desk because I love working with customer service. I love dealing with people. I love touching computers. And as you can see in my in my background or my resume, you could see that I have worked restaurant, I have worked fast food, and I could translate that over to help desk because help desk, you're dealing with customer service. And I worked in a restaurant background, so I could definitely transfer that over to help desk. And I know I have to have empathy for the client, and I'm also familiarized with Working with computers, I, I have my own my own lab set up at home with Active Directory, with familiarizing myself with users and computers, and I always practice on my labs every single day to understand how the technologies work. And I see uh, your company is hiring for help desk, and, they're, and they are asking for help desk Active Directory understanding or Active Directory fundamentals. That's how you answer that question. Um, question number two. How important when you say customer services? So customer service is very important. I, I feel personally, I feel like you anyone can learn IT, but you cannot teach people skills. You either have it or you don't have it or you learn it over time. Anyone could be taught IT, but you cannot teach customer service skills. You either have it or don't have it. And customer service is very important when you work in help desk because you are the first line of the fence. You have to know how to have empathy for the client. You have to know how to interact with the client and you have to know how to, how to break a conversation in a non-technical way, in a way that A, understand it, if that makes sense. So that's the reason why I believe that customer service is very important. Next question. How beneficial do you think Help Desk is in the company? Help Desk is very important in a company because they are the first line of the fence. They are dealing with social engineering. They are dealing with applications that are not working. They're also dealing with applications that the client may be using that it makes money for the company. So if you don't have help us picking up the phone calls, taking the phone calls and dealing with the issues that come in as, as people are putting in tickets, or pe as people are taking phone calls, then basically you're going to have uh, an infrastructure that's going to have a bunch of issues because people can, can get on their computer, the computer's not working, their account is locked out, the company's losing money, um, they... They can't get on their laptop, their computer's not working, their mobile device is not working. So help desk is there to handle all the level one issues, all the tier one issues. And they're very important when it comes to escalating any tickets to sysadmin, network admin, or cybersecurity. Uh, next question. How important are IT skills and service desk roles? So for service desk, it's usually a tier higher than help desk. It's a tier, like a tier two position. You need to have more, more skills with that because a lot of companies that, that work in, in the role of service desk, typically they need to be more familiarized with KBs, knowledge-based, the in-house application. Uh, typically a, a ticket gets escalated to service desk if help desk cannot resolve the issue. So service desk is the, the second line of defense before it goes to a sysadmin, a network admin, or cybersecurity. So they will have more knowledge of the application that the company is using they'll be more familiarized with troubleshooting an application and how it works and they will have more access to the app, more access to the applications that the company is using in that in that company a hypothetical example of that would be maybe maybe help desk is having an issue with citrix and you have to escalate the ticket to service desk because they're the only ones that have access to citrix and they have to end the application on the back end with zen app servers that's an example of that uh, next question. Uh, where do you find your motivation in the help desk role? I find my motivation in the help desk role because I love working with people. I love the fact that I could come into a job every day learning something new. It's not always going to be the same thing every day. I'm always going to be seeing a different issue. I'm always going to be learning something new every day. And I get to work with customers and I get to work with different technologies that I probably have never seen before. And it's going to make me get out of my comfort zone. That's how I would answer that question. Are you able to work weekend shifts? Yes, I am able to work weekend shifts. I could work, I work Monday to Friday, but if you need me to work Saturday, Sunday, or you need me to do overtime, 
I am open to any schedule of the weekend that you want to give me. And then this is where you, this is like, I'm going to stop there. Those are, those are all the interview questions. I'm going to stop there. You turn that question around. You ask them, uh, so I see you said weekend shifts. So weekend shifts, are, do, is this a regular thing? Uh, is this like a rotational on-call support every two months, every three months, every four months? Is there, is there a lot of overtime in this company? Is there, is there, is, is there not? Like, that's how you start asking those questions. They're going to ask you, they're going to give you an answer. They're going to be like, okay, yeah, yeah, Kevin, yeah, this is a regular thing. We need you to be on call every weekend, at least once a month. We need you to be on call every weekend, at least th three times a month. So they give you like a clear answer. Or they'll say something along the lines like, uh, yes, there, there is, there is overtime. You're going to be expected to do five hours of overtime every week. You're going to be expected to do two hours of overtime every week. So this is where you, you turn the question around and you build a conversation with them. And that's it. That's pretty much it. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, I hope you guys have a great Sunday and I hope this answers the interview questions and I hope this helps you out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Take care. Peace. Bye.